Hi, I'm Paul Kilgan from GK Tuition, and in this video I want to talk to you about probability. Now the question that I've chosen to go through here is 2017 Paper 2, Question 8, Part B. You'll see I've already done out the first part of this question. In the first part of the question you're given loads of information about the eight different things that could happen in the morning on your way to school. It could be raining, there could be no traffic, you could be late, it could be raining, there could be no traffic, you could be early and so on. Okay. So basically all the information there, I've filled it in there, you should be able to work it all out from the question itself. In my experience, the one thing that students often struggle with is this one here. The probability that there's no rain, there's traffic, and then often they struggle with what goes in these two places. If you notice at the very last sentence, or the very last piece of information they've given you, it says, in any other situation, the probability of being late for school is one-fifth. And by the time you've gotten to that stage, you should have filled in all your other branches, and the only two branches you're still concerned with are these two. Which means you know that in any other situation, they're referring to this situation, that's one-fifth, that's four-fifths. Now, in order to work out these values here, the thing that you need to be really clear on in probability is that and means multiply. In probability, and means that you multiply, and or means that you add. Probably a lot of you have heard that in school yourselves. In probability, and means multiply, or means that you add. What I mean by that here is, in order to work out the chances that it rains, there's heavy traffic, and you're late for school, you ask yourself, which one of these words does it make sense to put in? Does it make sense for you to say that it rains, what, that you're looking for the chances it rains, or there's heavy traffic, or you're late? That doesn't make sense, so you're definitely not adding them together. But it does make sense to say the probability that it rains, and there's heavy traffic, and you're late. That's what this branch represents. So one third multiplied by a half, multiplied by a half gives me one twelfth. Basically, you just go along your eight different branches, and in each case, you multiply them along. So for example, the last one here would be two thirds multiplied by three quarters, multiplied by seven eighths, which gives me seven over 16. In B part two of this question, we're asked to work out the probability that you're late for school. What are the chances that you're late for school? You need to realize that there's four different branches that end in you being late for school. You want to work out the chances that the first one happens, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one. In probability, or means that we add. So you get the four different branches that end in you being late, add them together, and you get 17 over 80. Okay, in the final part of this question, it asks me to work out the probability that it rained in the morning, given that you were late. Okay, now, the word given is the giveaway here. If it says the word given, the probability it rained in the morning, given you were late, you should recognize that as conditional probability. The condition being that you were late. What are the chances are that it rained on the condition that you were late? That can be represented. Now, you need to know your formula for this. So that's the probability of rain given that you were late. And in order to get that, your formula is the probability of or intersection L divided by the probability of both of them happening together divided by the probability you were late. Notice that in, in the previous part of this question, we worked out the probability of being late as 17 over 80. So to work out the top, I need to work out the chances of or intersection L. In other words, the chances that it rained in the morning and you were late. You should recognize that two of your branches in your tree diagram end with, they start off with you raining and they end with you being late. The first one was there's rain, there's traffic and you're late. The chances of that is 1 over 12. The, the second one was, or the third one in that branch, was the probability it rained in the morning, there's no traffic and you're late. That's 1 over 30. To work out the chances that the first one happens or the third one happens, you add them together. So if you plug all that into your calculator, your final answer works out as 28 over 51. Now again, I hope this video makes sense. If there's anything you're unsure of there, then just make sure you let me know in class or send me an email and I'll try and clarify it for you.